Hi kitty, welcome and how are you doing on this super sunny Sunday, um, in my case. Um, I would like to thank you all for all the nice comments that you've been sending me for the past few videos and um, you really make it a better experience to save and become uh, debt free. So I wanna wanna give a big heart to this uh, from this side of the screen. Um, for today, we're gonna do a sinking fund update and see how much we saved because August has ended. Um, so that means for the new people, every first Sunday of the month, I check my trackers, uh, which are in this notebook, um, which are almost uh, all my sinking funds. Um, and then I will look and see if everything is correct and um, correlates with the amount of money that is in my envelope and at the end we add everything up and see what we saved compared to the month before so let's get started <laughs> Everything fits perfectly, which is really nice, and I did not plan this at all. Um, there we are. Um, so my trackers are a little off uh, compared to my sinking funds in my binder when it comes to um, the way it is organized. Um, by the way, if you were curious about my cute little money cat binder i will i've put a link in the description box do box down below um i can't wait to order more binders but for now this will do um so first up is emergency emergency sh should have 60 euros because i have my tracker um, in here now so let's see how much we have one two three four five six which is correct so that means there's 60 euros in emergency fund. And instead of uh, putting it on, on a cheat sheet, I will just put them in my calculator right away. So we have 60. And then we have my water bill, which is annual fees. And it should have 100 euros. Um, so let's count how much there is in here. There's 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 90, 100. Which also means that I should put this in the bank, but I will um, I will wait for a little bit and see what will what I will do in my next cash stuffing. So that means annual fees has 100. Groceries has nothing because I used everything. I need to get some new ones. Or at least I need to go to the ATM to um, get my 30 euros for this week. Toiletries. Um, on Friday I used um, I used 10 euros for some um, menstrual pads and toilet paper. So there should be 20, which there is. So we add another 20. There we go. Then we have pet expenses. Pet expenses. Which should have 30. Which there is. So then we add another 30. And the reason why I do it like this instead of closing out the whole month is because I um, check my trackers or at least my sinking funds almost every week um, outside of my videos so most of the time the the amounts are correct um, and I don't really have to change but I just want to make, make sure and uh, see how much we saved in total so for medical there should be 150 which we have oh yeah my 
my weird 100 year old bill. And then we have 20, 40, uh, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 150. In medical, which goes to my therapy at the end of the year, I think. Um, next up, we have in here, we have travel and home. We can do that. Those, those are in the back. So we were at shoes and clothes. Um, but for travel, we should have 10, which is in there. So we add 10. And then, wait, I forgot to add my 150 for my medical. Um, so then after that one, we have house and that should be 20, which also is the case. So we have 20 in our house envelope. And for now, this is going to be like little things that I need to change in my rental but um afterwards every if everything is bought that i need um, i will just use this for a down payment on um, my um my house that i uh, would like to buy at some point um so we're gonna go one further moving has nothing because i decided that that was one was not the priority for now. Um, then we have shoes and clothing, which should have 30. We have 10, 20, and 30 in there. And I forgot the 20 from the house envelope. And then the 30 from this one. And then we have hair. Um, which is the only one left because I don't count debt um, just because debt is technically not my money and I still have to pay that off. So what's left is hair and this would be self care for now, but I think, yeah, I didn't write that down. So I need to update all my trackers um, eventually. But for hair, we should have 10. which is also in there. So we add another 10. So let's count in total how many envelopes we did so I can make sure that I did everything correctly. It's two, three envelopes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine envelopes. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that should be the correct amount of envelopes, which means that we don't need anything out of this cute binder anymore. So we're gonna put it over here. Um, and then let's go to the back of my tracker where I write down all the all the savings that I have at the end of the month. So when I first started in May, I saved up um, 105 because I already had 100 in the bank in, for my medical envelope. Um, in June, I saved in total 250. And then in July, I um, also saved another 100 euros, which means I have had um, 350. So for the month of August, I have saved 430 in total. Which means if we subtract the 350 for now that means we saved 80 bucks which is amazing um, there is another cash stuffing coming up so um, I am getting 
I think I'm gonna surpass my uh, say financial goals for 2021, which were having 500 euros in my savings or sinking funds. Um, which, now that I see that, is kind of surreal, and I didn't not didn't think I would have already reached that goal by September. Okay. Moment of disbelief. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, for for the month of August, we saved um, we saved up eighty euros, which is super exciting. And there's also another cash stuffing coming up. Um, so for this Sunday, I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, Leave a like and comment down below so we can hang out and tell me what your number one financial goal is for 2021 and if you actually already achieved it or if you're close to achieving it or if you really don't know where to start, um, but at least you started. So I want to say have an amazing and relaxed Sunday, um, cutie, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.